According to informed sources at Pentagon headquarters, the small town of San Izquierda, just inside the border of the Central American country of Bodegua, has finally been liberated by special American forces. The American-backed Libra troops had been unable to successfully free the town due to the massive presence of the communist-supported Guevaristas, named after the infamous red insurgent Alfredo Guevara. Specially trained American super-soldiers were sent in after the Libra's third failed attempt at taking San Izquierda. The G.I.s took the town conclusively. No body count has as yet been released. Sources reveal that a mansion previously owned by one of Guevara's cronies has been converted into a combat rehabilitation unit. Now, super-soldiers injured at the front lines are mere jetpack moments away from the most sophisticated medical technology. Miracles of modern medicine are being performed daily at San Izzy. There are reports that some of our brave young super-soldiers have been literally yanked back from the jaws of death. In a related development, a fact-finding mission led by Senator Ernest Biller is being sent to Bodegua in the next few weeks, and our source reports that San Izzy will be on the senator's agenda. Sci-Fi Radio presents an adaptation of James Tiptree Jr.'s novella, Yankee Doodle. Hello there, soldier. Where am I? You're in the San Izquierda Intermediate Rehab Unit 15. You were very, very lucky, soldier. You must have stepped on a mine. But the medics found you right away and brought in enough of you that the doctors were able to put you back. All in one piece. What? You were nearly dead. Now you're alive again. With the new bionic parts that just arrived and the new reanimation techniques available, well, we'll have you as good as new. Maybe even better. And in no time at all. But I'm hurting. Real bad. Where's my pill kit? No, no, none of that. You're starting mandatory detox tomorrow. I need an M. I need a bad. A maintenance Dr. pill. David, You'll have to stop David, that pill-seeking David, behavior, soldier. Tomorrow's your big day. The first day of the rest of your life, as they say. All right. Tomorrow. But this is today. Please, I need one bad. Oh, well. If you're just making it harder for yourself, that's your decision now. Uh, thank you. Is that better? Yes. Yes, I think it's working. It's working. Yes, it's, it's working. Make the most of it, soldier. Tomorrow's almost here. Do you, uh, you know what happened to the rest of my unit? I'm not sure. But you were brought in alone. I think you were the only survivor. All dead? Knew that hill was mine. It had to be. But we had our orders. I, I think you'd better get some rest now. I'll be checking on you later. Wait. Well, well, what do you mean about detox tomorrow? What are they going to do to me? You're going home, soldier. Why do you think you're in an intermediate unit? I don't know. We can't let you boys go home all full of those awful drugs you've been taking, now, can we? So you have a few weeks of detox to go through, but don't worry, it won't be so bad. But I don't want to. I, I said it won't be so bad. I'd rather go back to the front. <laughs> of course you would, but you can. Why not? Because you've been through so much already. It would be inhuman. And besides that, it's against the rules. Please? No. Now go to sleep, soldier. We dream. Arthurs, please! What's the problem? I need something for the pain. You've already had your ration. Why are you doing this to me? Since I got to this country, they've given me pills, BZs for the battle zone, so the killing comes easy? M's to maintain sanity, sleepers to get rid of the dreams. They never said anything about detox. You were brought here to serve your country, soldier. Now your country is repaying you. <laughs> I need something. All right. But remember, your detox still begins tomorrow. Thank you. Nurse Ramirez, give this soldier a maintenance dosage and a sleeping pill. Jake, ma'am. 
Remember, soldier, it's the last one. Make the most of it. Here, drink it down. How long have you been on these things? Oh, almost a year now. It will be very hard then. Hard? Detoxification. Look, they put me back together. Can't they just give me something and I'll make it all go away? I don't really understand it all. The fact that you were almost dead makes it even more complicated. The bionics and their potential for rejection have something to do with it, too. It's, it's very hard for me to explain. Anyway, we will do everything possible to make it easy for you. You should sleep now. You will need it. Super soldiers, and y'all real special to them, cause they created you. With the pills? Yeah, yeah, with the pills. But you can whip it, man. Whip them. Oh, why did they just leave me to die? <laughs> but man, they don't know how to leave well enough alone. Soldier, I told you I wouldn't put up with this. Hans, get him back into the bed. Strap him down tightly. <laughs> Jeez. 
Yes, I do. There's a little mestizo boy. I fired directly into his face. Watch his head explode. Oh, my God. And there's a woman, belly ripped open, and a newborn baby skewered, skewered on my machete blade, still crying. They're just, they're just dreams. They may be able That's to all. detox my body. <laughs> what about my mind? Can't keep on like this. There's too much pain. Too many memories. I can't keep on like this. I just can't. I, I don't know what I have to do. Don't try it, man. What? Suicide. How do you know what Hey, I'm... hey. We all think about it sometimes. It would be better than this, Al. Look, you try it here. You don't make it. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to try anything. Don't lie to me. I know you got that knife. What are you talking about? Hey, I saw you palm it off the tree this afternoon. They're going to count the silverware pretty soon. Man, they're going to find it out. Don't you know that? They're going to find it out, strap you up, and send you to the quiet room. Get up and sit in the chair. Why? Just do as I say. Hans, you know what to do. Stand up. Stay. Ah, but... Stay back down. Where is it? I don't know what you mean. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got it here, outside the window. Okay, soldier. Time to slip you into something a little less comfortable. Hey, what? No, that's a straight jacket. What are you doing? Uh, Please, come on. Uh, hey! 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 That's what I need. The pills to make me a super soldier. <laughs> no screaming. Can't let the memories get to me. That's the only thing I've done to him better. Get out. Get to the front. Oh, God, please. Please let me get back to the front. Help him into his bed. Well, soldier, looks like you're going to make it after all. Mm, yeah, I guess so. I'm glad you're finally learning how to behave. You all do, sooner or later. Hey, so you finally figured it out, huh? Yeah, I figured it out, all yeah, right. I knew you would, my man. I knew you would because I kept the faith. I knew you would. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Hey, did you hear the big news? What? But I sent some senator down and some big wheel generals so they can take a look at us super soldiers. So they can go back to the world and tell folks how we are okay. Then they go back to one of their big old map planet rooms, back to their easy living ways. Damn. I hate me an easy lover. <laughs> me too. Yeah, yeah man, me I too. Know. You say you are much better. Um, yes, I, I think so. Oh, that is wonderful. I'm probably not supposed to tell you this, but very soon they are going to move you to a private room, and and when they do that, you'll get ground privileges. Have a good walk. Where can I go? They say you're getting better. So you're free to go where you want. Just don't break the perimeter beam. They say the shock's not very pleasant. I wonder why they didn't clear that brush. What's that glare? There's a reflection of something. Hey, I wonder. Uh, a corpse. Never even found him. 
The brush is so thick they just left it alone and set the perimeter behind it. Never even found him. Hey, that means that means he may still have his pill packet on him. <laughs> oh, oh God, oh God, they're here! Oh God, they're here! <laughs> Left of him must have been what I looked like. Mm. M's, BZ's, sleepers, anything I need. I'll put them under my bandages, they won't even find me. Not even suspect. I can't let them take me from here. I can't. I need them. I gotta have them. there, soldier. You certainly seem to be doing better. Uh, yes. Yes, I am. Good. I told you so, didn't I? Yes, you did. Now, aren't you glad you follow the program? Yeah, I, I am. Tell you what, soldier. Why don't you go to the laundry room? Get yourself some fatigues. Fatigues? Well, you need something to wear besides those pajamas. I suspect that you'll be getting your civvy soon enough. Where are you going? That's it. They want me out of here. Another successful one. Well, I've got the clothes for it. Fifteen weeks. No cities for this subject. I'm gonna get back to Isidore's guns, tags, then I'll be ready. Get back to the front where I belong. Damn! No more M's! No more sleepers, though. The B's E's. <laughs> well, a B's E will just have to make do, I guess. Ah, there. That's it! The feeling it's back! Ha <laughs> ha! Just what I need to help me get back to the front. Mm, dark soon. That's when I'll break. Ah, yes, yes, there it comes! More alert now! Colors brighter. Sounds. Ooh, so clear, so clean. Mm. Welcome to the Libra encampment, Senator Biller, General Shell. Will you be with us for a while? Well, yes, but the General and I have other business to take care of in this courageous country of yours. We're on a bit of a tight schedule, aren't we, General? Yes, we are, but uh, we still want to spend a few moments with all these fine young men. Talk to them. Mind for them if uh, 
you know what I mean. Yes, I do. We have a young freedom fighter for you to interview as you requested. Oh, good. Yes, very good. This must be him, then. But he seems awfully young. He is 15, Senator. In this time, in this place, that is considered old enough. Yes, I see. Well, tell me, young man, why are you here with the Libras? He says the Guevaristas are very bad, that there is much oppression on the rail. I see. What did they do? H how did they oppress you? De para el he says they tried to recruit him for their army. But you're in the army now. Pero eres soldado, no? Sí, pero los guevaristas son males. Prefiero estar con las libras. He says the guevaristas are very bad, that it is much better here with the libras. Estoy preocupado por mi madre. Tengo miedo de que vendrá mi motocicleta. Uh, what, what was that he said? He is worried about his mother. Oh, well, certainly. I can relate to that. He's a very brave young man. He is afraid she will sell his motorcycle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where are the guevaristas? No, I'm guevarista. Where is fighting? I am lost. Me equivocado. I made a mistake. Donde? Where are they? Mis amigos are there. Miss, I must go to Miss Amigos to fight Guadarista. Ah, al, al norte. <laughs> far, muy lejos, very, very far. Good, then I go with you. Al norte. They know. They know about the bees. They know I'm a berserker. <laughs> they see it in my eyes. Americans. That's the ride I need to catch. There. Come choppers. to myself now. I can get myself to the north, to the front. This bus is mine. But the hell is this? A bunch of jeeps. Americans inside. <laughs> of course! Of course they're heading south. Away from the action. It's them. There it is, Senator, down there in the valley. Ah, yes. The hospital. Good. Very good. It's really a beautiful country, don't you think? Oh, it certainly is. Well, I guess we'd better get going. Yes. Just as soon as that old bus gets out of the way. them, the easy livers, the ones who sit in front of the big terrain maps, drawing lines, while their aides move little soldiers and flags around. The last breezy, oh. the last one I'll need. Oh, it's so clear, so clear what I have to do. It's them. 
this damn shit out of the way. Get a better look at the easy livers. All gone. Nice, clear view of the situation. Dateline Bodegua, a few miles north of San Izquierda. The fact-finding mission led by Senator Ernest Biller to that war-torn country met with a tragic end when it was attacked by the Russian-supported Guevaristas. One of America's super soldiers, PFC Donald Still, while on his way back to the front, attempted to defend against the attack. Unfortunately, one man was not enough. The president has vowed that such a tragedy will never occur again. He has decorated PFC still posthumously and has pledged to send 100,000 more super soldiers to Bodegua. PFC still's courageous actions will not be forgotten. They will live on in the fine young men who will follow him. <laughs> Our cast featured Chris Doritas as PFC Donald Still. Pam Doherty was the head nurse, and Rosemary Baxter played Nurse Ramirez. Other characters included David Roth as the voice of the other soldier, Cecilia Flores as the interpreter, Randy Means as the senator, Julio Cedillo as the boy, Charles Carroll as Hans, Oscar Wills as the general, and Bryce Armstrong as the broadcaster. The original story, Yankee Doodle, was written by James Tiptree, Jr. and adapted for sci-fi radio by Clay Charles Brown. Spanish dialogue was written by John Sessions. Our director was John O. Williams. All music and sound effects were created by Ron DiUlio. The series producers are Kevin Singer and Ron DiUlio. Support for this program has been provided by a grant from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. This is James Edward Kerr, inviting you to join us soon for our next venture into the imaginary worlds of sci-fi radio.